NetApp storage systems are built for non-disruptive operations even when a storage node fails. OnCommand Performance Manager introduces node failover planning feature for ONTAP 9 systems. This feature helps you estimate the performance impact on a node if its high availability partner node fails, as well as plan for a hardware maintenance window on nodes in a high availability pair when the performance impact will be minimal. Let's look at a demonstration of failover planning feature in Performance Manager. The node failover planning page estimates the performance impact on a node if its high availability partner node fails. Performance Manager bases this estimate on the historical performance of the nodes in a high availability pair. In the grid, primary is the node that takes over for the HA partner when the partner fails. Partner is the node that fails in the failover scenario. Estimated takeover displays performance statistics for the primary node after it takes over the failed partner. The statistics are displayed for the selected time range. As the time range is changed, so does the performance statistics values which are displayed. Our recommendation is that you consider the last seven days of performance statistics from a failover planning standpoint. In this example, I've selected the last 72 hours. In a takeover scenario, the primary node will be 33% utilized with 43% of performance capacity used. Going by these values, primary node will be able to handle workloads from the primary as well as from the partner node. The comparing pane displays historical performance statistics for the primary, the partner node as well as estimated takeover statistics for the primary. Here we are viewing the latency, IOPS as well as utilization metrics for the primary, the partner as well as estimated takeover statistics for the primary. So let's view the performance capacity used chart in a new window. The performance capacity chart shows 130% as the estimated takeover at 6.53 am on August 7th. If a failover had occurred, at that time, the performance capacity used of the takeover node would have been 130% wherein the combined workloads will experience an increase in latency. The historical statistics help you find the optimal time for initiating a failover, minimizing the possibility of overloading the takeover node. You can schedule failovers only at times when the predicted performance of the takeover node is acceptable. The performance capacity advanced chart shows the performance capacity used for the primary node, the partner node as well as the amount of free performance capacity on the estimated takeover node. This information helps you determine whether you might have a performance issue if the partner node fails. If it is 0%, a failover will cause the latency to increase to an unacceptable level on the takeover node. It also displays the minimum, the average, the 95th percentile and the maximum values. The advanced chart breaks the value for each node into user protocols and background system processes. Performance capacity advanced chart helps understand if there are any system processes running in the background and which could be impacted if a maintenance window is scheduled during this time period. If a failover consistently degrades the takeover node's estimated performance to an unacceptable level Consider taking corrective actions to reduce the performance impact due to a failover. Thank you for watching this video. Please log on to netapp.com and navigate to On Command Performance Manager for more information.